Simon, thank you very much. That was very informative. Uh, so of course, we'll open this up to the questions. Uh, some of the top questions, of course, there's a prize for the top questions. If we read your questions, uh, you are uh, part of the prize pool of, of 100 uh, $100. And uh, so good luck. Uh, let me get to some of these questions right now. Um, let's see. The first question that we have is coming from, uh, do we have a name for this person? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, let me see. Um, How how did the innovative idea for HECO come about? And this is from uh, the Telegram user uh, o, o Menagor 140 uh, Actually, uh, HECO is, is in a long-time EVM competitive chain, and we, we have uh, a, 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 we have a various projects in, including the the whole uh, decentralized application stack on, on Heiko. Um, so there are, uh, there are many projects interesting that that maybe you, you are want you wanted to investigate on. Uh, and as an Engineer, uh, we, 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 our team, majority for the, uh, um, uh, the technique of the uh, bottom, I mean, we, we have actually, we are a uh, technical driver team and, and we want to improve the chain uh, with all the existing uh, SOTA, Technicals, uh, uh, you know the famous, the recently famous Solana and the Flow, and 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 maybe some other, um, some other chain. We we are trying to make the hacker chain balance from the uh, the the performance, the cost, and the, the uh, the the uh, uh, sort of security they and the, the, they are the uh, basically infrastructure of our um, our chain and uh, and on top of the solid infrastructure we can construct more interesting products for users. Great, Simon. Thank you. Uh, second question comes from Think Smart Crypto on the YouTube comments for the live stream. And the question is, currently many other ecosystems such as Binance, Celo, Avalanche may have incentives or have incentives to attract users to the ecosystem. So for Heco Chain, do you have any plans in the future? Uh... Hi Kevin, I, I think I just have asked the answer the question one, and now it should be the question two, right? Uh, oh, did, were you not finished with the first question? Uh, yeah, yes, I think I have finished it. Okay, yeah, this is the second question. The second question comes from a user watching the live stream on YouTube. It's in the comments, and the user's name is Think Smart Crypto. And the question is, are you ready? Yeah. Simon. Okay, the question is, currently many other ecosystems such as Binance, Celo, Avalanche have many incentives to attract users to the ecosystem. So for Heco Chain, do you have any plans in the future? Uh-huh. Um, uh, uh, in, in the uh, technical view, um, Hyperchain is is still moving forward on with uh, with many progress in in its in its infrastructure technical. Uh, I, I, as I just said, we 
we are focused on the we now focus on the Ethereum scale uh, scale scaling such as the layer two um, and the the top bridge. We we want to uh, cover the uh, the whole ecosystem of the Ethereum and. And and we also want to balance between the Heiko uh, Heiko's advantage and on top of this advantage, we will try to give some better product experiments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Simon, is that it on the question two? Uh, sure. Okay. Third question is from uh, on our Telegram channel, Sandy19L19. What are your solutions to make NFTs a truly vital part of the DeFi economy? Hi Kevin, I, I can see the problem. Could you send it to 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 me on the chat board? Okay, so you want me to to copy the the question and then post it on our chat? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Hold on one second. Here's the next question. It's what are your solutions to make NFTs a truly vital part of the DeFi economy? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, well, um, as you know, the Ethereum gas fee now is, is, is quite a huge to, um, to, to, to send us as as you know, the fa the latest famous NFTs launched on 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 Ethereum with which uh, with the um the, the mine operation makes the the gas fee quite uh, high, and the, the I think the the question will not be so so huge on hack as as our advantage is the lower trans transaction fee and uh, this will bring the NFT mind more, more easily and more cheaper. Great. Are you, mm -hmm. are you done with that answer? Um, well, uh, as, as, uh, as in a technical way, um, as in a uh, technical way, uh, the Heiko Heiko always Heiko is EVM compatible. So, uh, any the NFT, I, I, I mean, uh, the NFT uh, innovation on Heiko could. Could it be migrated to the uh, Ethereum. So I think uh, Python will be quite a, a better place to to make the NFT in innovation because you you might want um, the in innovation might need need more cheap and. Uh, and uh, maybe more, more try. Okay, great. Uh, so the fourth question, and once again, thank you everyone for submitting your questions. The top five winners will get $20 each. And so if we've read your question, you can expect to uh, get $20 uh, from us. We will be messaging you. Uh, the fourth question is, 
And Simon, I'm going to post that also to our chat too, so you can read it. The fourth question comes from our Telegram channel, Rife Andy. What makes network distinctive and ahead of other security tokens, competitor projects on blockchain that currently exist, keeping in view that their fundamentals are also based on decentralized finance? Mm -hmm. You see the question? Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, are you are you just okay. thinking it over? Um, mm. Well, mm, I can surely um actually um the i think the um the when you talk about the uh distinctive of the com competitive uh, and the, the question is is still point to hackers uh, my future that is the uh, the high performance, the uh, low cost, and the search security. Maybe here the assert security is 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 quite important here. Mm, and uh, as you know, the uh, now the the solidity contract is quite um, is online and and quite easy to have bugs. If if there there is no long time experiments or, or audit, so you you may need the underlying blockchain to provide some security uh, machinizer. So here I think uh, Hyper Chain will perform a bet in this aspect. Yeah, yeah, then, okay. that, that's, that's my question, answer for this question. Okay, thank you, Simon. So the, the last question, last question here will be off the hook now. So this is number five, and this is from the user uh, on our Telegram channel called Drill G. Drill G asks, how is Heco really making a difference in the DeFi ecosystem? Mm-hmm. Well, this is a, a good question. Um, as as the, the original view of HECO is targeted to scale Ethereum. Um, um, and, and we tried to um, make, some, make some difference and the progress in the in, in the downside of the of Ethereum, um, um, uh, so I, I think the Ethereum is is sure surely the uh, the head chain of the block block chain world, uh, but uh, um. Uh, in the in the uh, in the exact market, um, high chain still have have its advantage. Um, uh, the such as the uh, as as a sort of security, as I, as I said, and and maybe in some place you want to you want to lowering, um. That's the uh, and also we are trying to um, uh, make make really difference uh, in the cons consensus. So 
so I, I think there there are quite more more difference, but uh, uh, the application developer will will investigate the difference and uh, and and adapt the their application so that to utilize the the difference. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, so that we actually do have one final question, uh, and this goes mm -hmm. to the user O Omenagor under slash one hundred and forty, and the question is. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. No, no, no. Okay. So no, no, no. We did already ask that question. So I, I don't think that there is any more questions. Um, okay, great. Well, okay. So, uh, we are done here. Uh, Simon, I want to really thank you for being a participant here, uh, in our panel and workshop series. I'm sure, you know, many people, uh, learned some great things. We had some great questions. So uh, once again, if you uh, want to see some of our other panels, go to uh, hackathon.zen.finance and you'll see a list of our upcoming panels and workshops. You can easily register. Of course, these are all free. These are, of course, to help us build uh, the ecosystem for the future of Africa and beyond in underserved regions. Uh, you can also go to our Twitter, uh, our handles at Zen Finance, which you can kind of see some of our previous speakers and some of the previous panels. This week, we'll be posting uh, some of our previous panels. Some of the video sessions uh, will be available, as well as the transcripts and the presentations. So uh, stay up to date. And we want to welcome you to uh, another session uh, coming up next week. And of course, we'll have all the details on our Twitter page. Simon, once again, from Heco Chain, thank you very much for the presentation. And everyone, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.